Hello everybody and welcome back to Snacko, where now we know how to make fertilizer. So I'm sure there will be no more things that I don't know how to do ever again in the game. Because that's totally how it works, right? Oh, so tomatoes are the gift that keeps on giving, look. Wow, nice, nice, nice. Got a sprinkler on it. Have I got much money at the moment? A little bit of money. I could do with either getting more money or getting more of these these guys together, more of these fasteners together. And uh, once I've done that, I can make my own. Now I might be possibly making a larger sprinkler rather than a smaller one. But I think the larger ones are slightly more uh, efficient for the fasteners they use. Let's have a look though. So a sprinkler sprinkler, which is a 5x5, five five, will take 10 fasteners. And a small sprinkler will also take 10 fasteners. So it makes way more sense for me to make a bigger field and have a bigger sprinkler in it. That would mean a bit of rearranging of my fields. Hmm. Don't know though. I think I want to do a little bit of. Well, actually, I want to do a bit of like sorting out my quests and stuff. But I also want to do a little bit of like decorating around the farm today. I'm like so tempted just to resign that one. I don't know. Like, we need to talk to me, Can. We need to ship thirty wheat. We're growing the wheat. We are about to ship the mushroom pastas. So we need to do a lot of mining and we need to carry on growing the wheat that we're growing. So I think we're growing wheat somewhere. I think these ones are wheat. Yeah, okay. Right, let's get me old uh, before we run off and start doing other things. Get me old. Uh... Do you know what I could do with here? There's a well. I don't have to run halfway across the world to get my sprinklers working. Not my sprinklers, to get my watering can filled up. I'm still thinking about sprinklers, you see, in the back of my mind, secretly thinking about sprinklers. Yeah, so what I really need to do is to let some of these go fallow, don't I? Maybe dig them up again, which is annoying. So if I had a five by five, right, so I'd have a one, two, three, four, five, then a gap, then one, two, three, four, five. Or maybe I could start my five by fives across here, because this is definitely a pure, it's a pure plot for and then I could move a lot of my growing into there. Carry on manually watering these ones for a while. Just slowly start moving them into the 5x5 five five across the way. Hmm, let's see. Not sure what to do yet. Um, it definitely only needs a big rearrange. I'll do that right now. I mean, it's probably happening quicker than it happened in something like Coral Island, where I got to like year three and I'm like, should I should I go up to the biggest sprinkler now? I don't know. This is a lot of watering to do, so I need to do something about it. Like I say, maybe I could sell the 3x3 three three sprinklers when I'm done with them, I don't know. But if I'm making them, I don't want to use that many fasteners. Can I water these ones yet? No. Are there any I've missed now? It's 
So that one's done, that one's got one missing. That one's done, 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 that one's not done. Okay. I think we're good. So, <laughs> what I kind of want to do now, I think, is to see if I can get a 5x5 five five plot. And also I want to see about these 5x5 five five sprinklers, if they are... They require water fragments, so I kind of need to get into the next area to do that. Hmm... But I think there is one for sale as well. So we're working at the moment on fire. I've got 28 fire shards now. And we're just letting it slowly work through the limestone. Once it's worked through the limestone, it'll work through the sandstone and that's towards the obelisk, okay? So this is what we're doing at the moment. The meow tasks, like I say, we're very well on our way for because we've done the the wheat is planted the mushroom passes me kind of just picked them up the shipping task i just need to go find me so let's go find me luckily there's not any kind of thing that i need to, to do today i don't know if there'll be like sort of cutscenes and things with the with the peeps, but Livestock Expo. Meet the best from capital cities, something or other. Oh yeah, there's a livestock expedition. Um, sure, I've done all my watering, I guess. What's this about? No one warned me about this. I'm glad I came into town. I bet my mum would love these cows. I want to take a nap pressing my head on one of them. They're adorable. Oh, the cows, the cows. I've never seen one until I moved here. This is so cool. There's a llama. Look. When do I get a llama? I need to know this right now. Aha, Junior's been looking forward to this for weeks. Couldn't even sleep a wink last night, that boy. Where is Noble Junior? Oh, there. <laughs> you look so excited. You look so excited, you little kitten. Oh, today is my time to shine. Bow down to me, peasant. Wanted me to see how good of a rancher you are. Sure. Okay. Let me see. Wow, nice job. You take good care of your livestock. They're super friendly with you. Here's a prize. It's me. <laughs> I got a Nobu Junior plushie from my house. Fantastic. So I don't know if these stalls are meant to do anything or what, but let's have a chat to everybody. I've seen some cows back home, but not this close. This is completely different. This is super cool. Look at all the cute chickens and stuff. <gasps> do you have any livestock on your farm? I'd get them just to be able to pet them every morning. Well, I didn't pet them this morning yet, and now it's going to be 6pm by the time I get home to pet them. What if I open a stall here, pet some cute cows, have a nice cold drink? Hmm. Yeah, I think we've talked to everybody there, so... We don't seem to be able to interact with the cows or chickens very much, but it's very cute that they had that there. But, yeah. I got a Nobu Junior doll, so I need to go and check on my cows and chickens because I've now got like not very much time left in the day. I did at least water my plants before I went into town, so that was a good thing. I'm glad I didn't miss that though. A brush out? Apparently I take very good care of you. That's what Nobu Junior said. You should be thankfully all my cows I could put a couple of, well, I could maybe put a couple of tomatoes in there bin I know put some berries in there first because I know I can get more of those quite easily okay. 
one gold star potato. They are not having my gold star potato. All right, you can have one tomato in there, okay? That wasn't entirely what I intended to do there. a little bit more in. Let's like pull the lever again and see if I can properly fill up their stuff. That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Can't remember if I brushed the chicken. Oh, maybe I'll go back in and double check. Did I brush you? Yeah, I did. I did. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Where were we? <laughs> Check that, uh, check that sneaky calendar though, don't we? Check the agenda every day in case there's like some kind of thing we've missed. I dread to think how many we've missed. All right, we are getting there with this now. Because that was making fire shards the whole time we were away. Fantastic. I need to go and mine more like mist crystals and things. And so, uh, seven gold pieces. Let me see if we've got gold pieces in my box. I put a lot of stuff away in the box last time. Yeah, 12. So we're on 19 now. We've got 13 mist crystals in there, which I should probably put into the Alembic. I should take those photos down to the museum. There's a lot of things I should do. But I want to do the things first that are going to progress me the most. Okay, making more fasteners all the time. Wonderful. Plenty of fuel in there. It's slow fuel at the moment because that's what I happen to have, but I'll try and get some better fuel. We need to go gather coconuts anyway i don't i think i've only got like four coconuts or something and i think they might be in my box as well don't interact with this what? i'm totally putting that in my house and interacting with it okay no boo junior doll You smell terrible. <laughs> you better hang on to your brain cell because that's all that's left. You better. <laughs> it's an insult doll. Fantastic. That's a doll that insults me every day. Right, so. 46 of my 99. I've got one more gold bar and we finished. All oh, right, okay, we finished the gold now. Wonderful. Uh, I was looking for coconuts in my house, wasn't I? Going to start filling in all the bits for this, uh, all the bits that we can anyway. I'll put the mist crystals into the Alembic. That's going quite fast actually, nice. Um, yeah, I'll put in all the things I can. So we've got a few coconuts, we've got some gold bars, we've got some flame crystals. Oh no! Some of my tomatoes. I put the, I was feeding them to the cows and I need them. But they're going to keep going for summer, so that's okay. And I've got lots of them planted. So it's probably okay. <laughs> oh no. Did I fertilize all my potatoes? Or did I only fertilize like three of them? I don't think I had enough stuff for fertilizer, did I? And that's why we didn't do any more. So I think I kind of need to go and get... I think these three here are potatoes. 
but I don't know if we've got more fertilized potatoes than that. Mm, that's going to take me a bit to do, I think. Uh, again, bones from the desert would be useful for some more fertilizers. It's hard because I don't know what I've got planted half the time. I'll work it out as it grows, but... Yeah. Right, so the obelisk is in the desert. I need to go to the goddess cave and round the corner. In fact, I need to go to bed. I just need to go to bed. I... It's getting well late. Let's just go to bed. That festival took, like, so much of my day. Okay. And tomorrow we'll go and we'll, while the Alembic is doing things, we'll go and get the stuff together for more fertilizer for the potatoes. Which will be bones and plant matter. Oh, there's something in my mail. From your number one supporter. How are you settling in? I bet you burn a ton of calories working in the field. Meanwhile, I have to pay to burn calories after work. Lately, I've been trying yoga. It helped stretch out my back. It was great until Nancy joined. Remember her? Gosh, she was a pain during school board meetings. Still is. I want my peaceful yoga classes back. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Say hi to Mikan for me. Your number one supporter. Energizing smoothie. Thank you. Thank you, number one supporter of Munchkin. Oh, these are looking good now. Couple more tomatoes to grab as well. I could harvest those as green onions or just as onions. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do there. Onions go for more, I think. So yeah, let's um <clears throat> do the watering. the watering in rows. Uh, close, but I don't think we're going to have enough water. Okay, so it's just this one last little bit here. And the two that I missed over here. And four, five, six. Done. All of it's watered. Perfect. Let's go and see the cow and the chicken and I'll grab these. So we're up to 70 now. That's not too bad. I might need to mine a few more mist crystals, but that'll be good because it'll help with the mining I have to do. Uh, where's the brush gone? I'm losing it. I kind of evened everything out. But yeah, I think I want to put some uh, mushrooms in there. And there's just a nice feed for my, my dudes. Lovely. They must be super happy now. I, got, oh, I, just, I keep forgetting if I've brushed them or not. I think I do every day, but... Yeah, I, I have. I just keep thinking, oh, what if I haven't? Right then, uh, to the desert, I think. We want to get some bones. As many bones as I can. Uh, 
maybe some more limestone and stuff like that. Uh, also more coconuts. So I'm just going to go for the coconuts and then the coconut wood can be put into the furnaces and speed them up a bit. Which is always super handy. It wouldn't hurt if like a ruby happened to jump out of one of these. Quite good for the old... Uh... Ah! Ah, what happened there? Oh, gosh. I, I thought this oasis was meant to be green, not blue. Why is that changed colour? Oh, maybe it's blue in the summer. Yeah, that's what we're going to assume. <laughs> Bit of lapis. Fire fragments are coming out of the rocks now. Wonderful. It's just going to burn down desert rocks until I get enough, basically. Um, I might sell my sandstone. If I can get enough limestone to make into fire fragments, I might sell my sandstone. But then also the sandstone might super give me loads of fire fragments, so I don't know. I very much expect I'll need water fragments for... Well, I needed plant fragments, didn't I? For the um, first one, the grassy plains. And I'm needing fire fragments for this one, so I'll probably need loads of water fragments for the mushroom biome, which I think is the next one along. What do you mean I shouldn't know that? People in the comments told me, so now, I, now I'm allowed to know. And now you are too! Okay, probably that's enough like rock bashing for now. Let's go over and cut down some trees. Try and get enough coconuts. Now there's ones that look like they have coconuts on like this one i would expect that those would be the ones that will probably drop coconuts i expect that i do better with an axe as well yeah, i've got one coconut from there so that's five coconuts are there any others that look like they have coconuts on this one does and this one here, and that one back there, so... I'm trying to hit the rock there, but it's... yeah. Coconut timber. That one looks like it has coconuts, and that one looks like it has coconuts. This one I should be able to get two in one. Which is always a boon. Because remember, the wood here is quite important. So that's seven. I do like the biomes in this, actually. I actually quite... I like the desert biome slightly better than I like the grassy plains. It's a little bit less um, in your face, isn't it? There's a notebook here with messy writing. We offer... Sorry, we know trading offering plate. That's all that's written. Okay, are there any more, like, books here? These notebooks have text in them. You quickly flip through the notebooks. I can't understand the language used. It looks like an item log of sorts. I can read this, let me see. It looks like a trading log. Maybe the folks who lived in the desert weren't the same as those who settled in town. I think we read that one before. Ooh, bones. You need to get all the bones. So we can make fertilizer. Hmm. Would help with the pickaxe, wouldn't it? That's how we get bones. I have to keep an eye out in these little huts and things, won't I, for recipes and things. Okay, so I need three more coconuts. Are there any that look like they have coconuts on them? This one over here does. I don't know if it'll just fall off the cliff, though. <laughs> but we can give it a try. I have a pie that I can take if I need to. Oh, at least the coconut stays. That's all I can really ask for. This one has a coconut on it, too. So 
So we're on, yeah, 10 coconuts, lovely. So that's at least one thing done. I know how to make the potatoes, we just have to do it. I'm gonna head to the obelisk now. Meat cube, well that's useful. It's a nice piece of food, a meat cube, but it gives you a bit of stamina. Tilly would like that. T Tilly has been a rascal right now because she has, um, I've been doing like a puzzle feeder with her lately to try and slow down her treat consumption so she can actually have treats because I had to sort of withdraw treats for a long time for her, for, from her because she, she, can I? No, I can't do those ones. Um, because she's, she gets to like very, very beggy with treats. She's really, really bad with them. So what I've done with her is um done a sort of a a treat uh like a puzzle feeder and she loves it she thinks it's great but she started sitting in front of it now instead of eating her own food silly cat so we've got another we've done 71 there's another 20 needed for this one and then we need another 99 which we can just have constantly going pretty much while I carry on growing my... So I've got 35 bones now. I can make a good few more pieces of fertilizer with that. Um, and get some more potatoes in the morning to plant in, I think. And then just make absolutely sure they're fertilized. I think I have three more potatoes at least fertilized. But then I think I'm going to need another six. So I'll, pl I'll plant another six and get them fertilized. And then, uh, yeah, just waiting for the fragments to come in and waiting for the tomatoes to come in. So that was actually, in the end, not too bad. Once I'd sort of worked up to the tech level it, it sort of required for it, it wasn't too bad at all. All the things I needed were pretty much either done through the Meow Quest or in the area. So that's really cool. Um, so if I can find any more bones, the more bones I can find, the more potatoes I can do. And then I think we also want to go to the caves and get more mist crystals. Because I want to just keep that alembic constantly going. But I feel like I can see the end of the road here, which is quite nice, you know. I don't think we're going to have time today to get back to the grocers in time. Uh. But I do feel like I want to go back and sort of start making my fertilizer and all that. If I can make it back there in time, that's great. But I don't think that's going to happen. And we'll still spend a little bit more time like um, digging rocks around here and also exploring in general. I don't think I've gotten every chest here and all that sort of thing. Two twenty. To town. I could just go get a few potato seeds. That would be great. I might have already gotten some, but let's just not not worry about that. It's a Wednesday, so they should be open. I love my little town. I think it's so cute. Right then. I would like to buy six potatoes. are 7,000 right now and 25,000 for the 5x5 five five sprinklers. It'd be so worth it. It'd be so worth getting the stuff together to make one though for 25k. But I feel like I'm nearly there on it. But then there'll be another size of sprinkler after that one and I'll be like, oh, but now I need to get that one. So we should just hand water all the crops until I'm... Where? 
I heard it. As I walked by, I heard it. You gonna ding again for me? Nope, and I have no idea where it's gonna be then, so okay. Guess I'm not finding that one. Okay, so let's see how the Alembic's doing. We've got some more fire shards here. We've got 14 more. Very close to the 99 that we need, which is great. Um, I'll stick that limestone in. Gonna need a few more mist crystals soon though. Slowly going through and getting all of the fasteners I need. I, I am gonna say, I was so close to getting stuff done. I don't really want to just be like, let's get three by three sprinklers. Or I could, I couldn't. I just don't know. And some days might be rainy days too, and then that would help. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for five by fives. I'm gonna actually um, like hoe out a field, I think. Ready for five by fives. Or gnats. Get some more wild berries. my egg but I, I don't know oh I could eat my meat cube that's quite useful yeah that gives me a little bit uh, oh. so this is how big a five by five will be so it's like more than twice So when this is done, I'll try and move all my stuff over to the 5x5 five five fields, slowly but surely. And then we'll start making, I figure it's going to be like 7x7s seven or something. Once I have a bit of money, I'll go and buy the large sprinkler uh, book. It's, a, it's called a super sprinkler. I think it's about 8,000 for the book. I haven't picked that one up yet. But this is either going to be like a 7x7 seven seven or a 9x9 nine nine based on sort of what we've got here and how generous it is. I mean, it might give me something like an 11x11, 11 11, but I think that would be a bit, bit much. But this is the sort of size that that will sprinkle, which is amazing. So if I had like one tomato field like this, one corn field, one onion field, I wouldn't need multiples of any type of field. I would just need one of each. That has a rock on it. Sneaky. Super sneaky. All right, so this is my five by five field. So when I get the, the bigger sprinkler, when I get the water shards, um, that is what we will be doing. We'll put a sprinkler there and we'll have loads of cool stuff. And I'll have another one here. will end there. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll take another gap and it'll be one, two, three, four, five. And then I may be able to get one, two, three, four, five in there. Ooh, just, yeah. So I could get like four massive fields in there and put some really big sprinklers on and that would give me 
25 crops per field times one, two, three, four. So that'd be like 100 crops across all of that, which is probably about as much as I've got here. Um, 9, 18, 27, 36. Like, so that'd be 72. Uh, yeah, around about 90 then. 72, that would be 81, that would be 90. And then these two would be uh, 100 and, sorry, 99 and 108. So all this field here would be the equivalent of those four fields there. So that's a lot less sprinklers to make and a lot less iron to make to make them if I can grab the water crystals. But I still haven't found anything that gives me water crystals. But I imagine that when I go to the next area, I'll be able to find that. So, what are we missing for this obelisk? So, let's see. I forgot to change that in the planner. So, we don't need the coconuts anymore. The coconuts are in. The gold bars are in. Um, I put in eight, seven or eight tomatoes. I'm going to say like 23 are still needed. And I'm going to say that nine potatoes are needed. So let's plant my six potatoes and get them watered and make the fertilizer for them. Where, where did they go? I um, did I? Oh, please don't tell me I didn't act. I accidentally didn't buy them or something. I'm a terror for this. I split them off and then don't complete the transaction because in my mind, if I've gone six. It buys the six, but it doesn't do that in this game because in any other game it would do that. <laughs> it really would. Any other game, that's how it would work. Um, however, we're lucky tomorrow is a Thursday, so the shop will be open. I'll be able to go and sort that out. So it, so while we've got some time this evening, actually, why don't we go and see if, what we need for the... Uh, for the six fertilizer we need to two mist crystals per, so I'm going to need to take some mist crystals out of the Alembic. Ooh, they're getting low, aren't they? I want 12. So that'll be another job for tomorrow. We'll be going to get some more mist crystals from the mines. And then I've got uh, bones. There's a one that uses bones. I think that might use less mist crystals as well. Yeah, it only uses one, so that's all right. I've got enough bone to make that one. Perfect. So now when we get the, the, the potatoes in the morning, we'll have plenty. And that means I can top that up with another six. Beautiful. I got, out of all of the rocks that I busted down there, I got one lapis. Man. I keep keeping everything because I'm like, oh, well, what if? What if I needed it? We definitely need to keep the coconut timber. Oh, actually, I should. Anything that's food related. I can eat that coconut. I can eat that apple pie. I can eat that berry smoothie. I've 18 potatoes. I should sell those. And the mushrooms as well, I think. The rest I'm just happy to like keep. Oh, the, the egg as well. Let's sell the egg. The rest I'm happy to keep. Just try and actually make some money as opposed to like never making any money. Being poor every day of my life. Okay, that will do. I think it's time for bed then. And we'll get those potatoes re-bought in the morning. I feel like we're getting some real progress made here though. Shall we see what Nobu has to say? 
Oh, you're still talking about our brain cells. You got no brain cells. You don't even have like a second comeback for me. My little munchkin, I want to leave the fan on all day during weather like this. Is it hot where you are too? I heard islanders don't pay utility bills. Is this true? If it is, I might move there too. Haha, <laughs> these bills. But if I don't leave the fan on, I'll melt. Do you think if I sent you a drink, it'd spill everywhere? One way to find out if it arrives still in the cup, I'll count it as a success. This was your favourite summer drink as a kit. Hopefully you still enjoy it. Citrus juice. Nice. I bet I could make that if I wanted to. Right, we've got 18 more fire fragments there. Which I could take along. And I'll have to take a note as to how many fire fragments I have next time as well. Right, I do need to still water stuff today. I will, I think, do that first. And then say hello to my chicken and my cow. So those are the three potatoes that I'm pretty sure will come out gold star. That I think I have fertilised. I get no more rainy days for ages now because I'm like being stubborn about sprinklers. I'm like, I'm not spending 7k on sprinklers. It'll be nice when I can have a, like 25 things just off one sprinkler and just like one action, boom, 25 things watered. It would help if I used the sprinkler I had though, wouldn't it? Rather than trying to manually water them. It's because I've got one sprinkler amongst a, a sea of other things. That sprinkler's getting sold as soon as I can. As soon as I get the bigger ones. But the bigger sprinklers, I think, are reliant on me getting to the third biome. So I feel like that's going to be kind of essential to me not having to spend half the day watering. Okay, it's that everything. Did I miss one there? Let's have a look around, see if I can see any bits I've missed. Those three there. It's not the most obvious game in the world for what you have and haven't missed as well. So that's another reason why sprinklers are great because you just you hit them, you know you're done. If anything and the patch is done, you know the whole patch is done. So that's rather fantastic and wonderful. Right, let's head over to Iva's shop. And try and purchase those potatoes again. <laughs> Town is slowly getting better, but... I spent a lot more time breaking things down when I really needed the wood and, and cloth and things from here, but I've not done it so much lately. So, yeah, what I think I did was I went six okay and then exit that's what i think i did i now have twelve thousand, so i i'm halfway to getting a massive sprinkler i'm gonna eventually need four of them right let's me let's check before i go that that i've actually properly got the potatoes yes wonderful and i've got the fertilizer for them and they will take how long to grow? Six days. So in six days, and I'll speed that along if I need to, in six days we will have all the stuff we need for the obelisk, I imagine. I can't imagine it taking longer than that. I still need to go see Mikan, don't I? Because I haven't told her about... Oh, I don't know where she is. Boo, she's not in the square. But often she's in the square. She might be picking up my stuff at the moment though. And sometimes we cross over each other when that happens. Yeah, she's 
she's not about she's doing her rounds so I need to plant these potatoes give them a water yeah we can water them first apparently and then give them a fertilize as well Hopefully they should come out gold star then. Okay, I think I've done that right now, so. I keep taking you in and out the bell, sorry. What I was trying to do is find my watering can and water these crops. Somehow it got messed about. Sometimes I press R because, because I do, so. We need to remember those are there though. Those are important. Okay, so gold star potatoes on the way. Uh, I need to put a bit of wood in there, so let's do it. Just slowly, slowly, slowly getting fasteners together. So I think I've got enough for two now once I can start getting the water together. So I think next in line me can mine a hundred times and ship 30 wheat the wheat is coming along look I don't know how long wheat takes I think it it's been three or four days now since I planted it I think probably three days I think I planted it on something like the second of summer so that'll be coming along very shortly Got another eight of those, but we are, we've got loads of sandstone that I could chuck in there and probably will give me fire. Uh, but we're really low on mist crystals. So to the grassy plains, to the mines, and let's go and get as many mist crystals as we can. I could ship wheat by just grabbing it from here but I think it's going to take me long enough to get the potatoes that uh, I'll have the wheat before then anyway just have to make sure I water everything every day and I am going to be stubborn I am going to save my money and my fasteners okay we've got a couple of bats here I don't really want them to be messing with me so let's just do that and they give me mist crystals which is quite nice and meat cubes meat cubes are amazing they give you lots and lots of stamina so well for a, for a raw thing anyway tried cooking one once didn't really work very well might need to cook it with a stick or something make some kind of kebab i could do it buying some more recipes uh i i bought what i could at the time but it wasn't very many. Oh gee, there's another bat there. Oh, where's my sword gone? Right. Didn't even have the good manners to give me a mist crystal. So yeah, this is floor one. I wonder if there's ever going to be like another floor. I may have to just like explore enough to get another floor, but so far I've not needed to get a second floor. There's like a blue mushroom there. A blue shroom. Damp environments. Bet that'll give me water crystals. But I'm not finding enough of them to get the sort of amount that I'm going to need for a sprinkler, though. I'd need several of them, I think. Wonderful, we've got some cream shrooms. This looks like a bit of a dead end, though. Just going to keep wandering around at the moment, because... Uh, 
Uh, yeah. I need, I need loads of mist crystals. note in there. More mushrooms in there, a bit more iron and stuff, but no mist crystals. We're... are we doing well for mist crystals right now? Seven? Well, that's not very good, is it? I'm gonna get way more than that. It's clearly just a bad mist crystal day. Oh, there's some. Oh, cool. There's quite a few around here. Look. Lovely. It's a nice little cavern we found. Lots of redwood in here as well. I do need to burn that and see like what kind of burn rate you get on it. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, we've got a, like a fairly semi-decent amount now that I feel a bit better about myself. I don't, however, know where the elevator is at all, even in the slightest, so I'm hoping we can find that soon. I feel like we might be going around in circles. Slimes. Sometimes they give me mist crystals. Yeah, thirty-nine. Okay, that's that's a decent amount. Um, I think I might need to have a meat cube. Ow! Don't hit me! Ah no! I am sad, sad Catho. Ooh, but I came out with all of my stuff. Um, and it's now six o'clock on Friday, which does mean I need to. Okay, not the end of the world then. It does mean I now need to rewater all my crops. But we've got plenty of mist crystals to put in the Alembic. The Alembic did run out, sadly. I didn't make it back with the stuff in time. A couple of blue shrooms, which will be interesting to see what we can do with. Lots of iron. That one's run out of wood. Just keep it going. I want to just run out of gold ore, but that's okay. And that one run out of fuel as well. That's also okay. Redwood's awesome. Look, it's three. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we got knocked out. I'm very sad. This is the first time that's happened. But never mind. Got a bit too over the top with things. I don't know if I went to see my animals yesterday, so I'm gonna go see them first thing and then we'll water everything. There's the brush. Brush brush brush. Brush brush brush. Plenty of like mushrooms and things, so we can just like totally. I think we should just 
fill this up with mushrooms. There we are, perfect. So they're looked after for a little bit and I can get another chicken and another cow if I need to. Or if I want to. everything but then what I'm gonna try and do is start planting things on these beds here that I'm gonna start making and then I'm gonna start trying to get sprinklers onto them that's already done So I think I need about 23 tomatoes and then I can start selling them after that. Done that one and not these ones. Uh, I'm losing track of what I've even done. Important to get those potatoes done, even if I don't do a single other thing. But I'm definitely glad that I didn't decide like I have to go back into the mines and grab all my stuff. I don't know how they would even do that with like a procedurally generated mine like that though. I could understand going back to get your stuff in a game like something like Enshrouded or something like that where the game map is static so your stuff will be there, there's a death marker or something, you go find it. But with a game like this, with a, with a mine like that, I don't understand how you would do that so I can understand why it kept my inventory on me. Um, I don't really know what kind of death penalty I actually had there. I might have had a little EXP penalty or something because you do have, you do actually have skills. I know I don't often, I, I'm pretty sure you do anyway. Contacts, cookbook, recipe, snackopedia. I think you do anyway. Achievements, bookshelves, status. Hey, oh, here we are. You have skills with tools, and then you also have things like I'm farming level six, for example, but I'm fishing level one. <laughs> Maybe I need to level up my fishing and then I get a salmon. I don't know. I'm cooking level one. Crafting level one. But I've done crafting. I've crafted 43 items, and it's not given me any levels at all. I've caught 21 fish. And I've got zero out of 75. So I do wonder whether the levels are not in for cooking, crafting or fishing. It does make you wonder, doesn't it? But I've got some levels in the other things, so I don't know. My character level is level one. And I've, I've done, I've earned money, I've spent money, I've used stamina, I've jumped, I've fainted. I've given gear. I haven't given any gifts, actually. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be counting my steps, but it hasn't. So there's a few things that I think are just not in there yet. My barn is called the Gentle Castle. I can actually name my barn. That's pretty cool. These guys are important. They need watering first every day. I don't know why I decided to do them last today, but... If everything else on the farm dies, I will not be as upset as if those potatoes die. Let's put it that way. Okay, so I'm going to spend a bit of time carving out. It doesn't look like these like degenerate, so I'm going to spend a bit of time today carving these out. And I do need to speak to Mikan about a few things. But I'm going to need to speak to her when the wheat is shipped anyway for the meow task, so I feel like maybe I just do it that way. Two birds, one stone and all that, you know? I think we 
might need to get some of these stones out of the way. What do you mean I have no stamina left? I'm going to drink my energizing smoothie. I need to know how many times I've mined as well. So let's have a quick look in the quest log. Um, it's part of my meow task. I'm on 69 of 100. Don't laugh. my hoe. Let's just keep going with these. Really? Well, that was super annoying. Yeah, I think these will be such better beds and sort of I'm future-proofing a little bit. Because as much as this is... This can be frustrating as a game sometimes to get to know what to do, but also once you do get to know what to do, it's kind of really cool. And I love moving the villagers in and learning new things and unlocking things. So part of me is like this love-hate relationship. I just think a, a little bit more explanation on a few things, um, tutorial-wise, might be quite helpful. But I did feel like there was too much tutorial in the beginning as well it was like come on you're teaching me how to cut down a tree but then you're not then teaching me how to make fertilizer later on and i think rather than having like dialogue for all of the stuff it's better when you've got things that... i mean to be honest though i i don't use my bookshelf and that is on me so if i look at my bookshelf Cooking, crafting, cultural center, shrines, quests, expanding the town, making friends, moving out, moving around. The seed maker. Probably should make should get one of those at some point. I can get that from uh, the alchemist. The furnace, shops, alembic. Throwing items, discarding, saving. Uh, so I don't really think anything has particularly... Miss picking up something? Don't worry, your buddy will go get it. Starts off with item gather. That is actually useful. But I don't think any of this is actually going to tell me how to make fertilizer, for example, so... Does teach you a lot of stuff, but not that particular one, sadly. I'm not going in the mines again yet. I want to wait for my health to sort of regenerate a little bit. So we're just going to spend a bit of time, like I say, mining and farming and stuff. Uh, hoe would be a good idea here. Hoe. Oh, there's another rock. Always rocks. Every time. I want to do something. There is a rock there. This is going to basically be my farm now, you see. This is going to be what it'll look like. I think I might put some, like, I've seen people put fences around and it looks really nice. So I might do a little bit of that as well, just for some decoration. Tilly's going nuts outside. I'm going to ignore her. She's playing. She's been outside like 4,000 times already today because it's like sunny, so she's all excited. This is going to be awesome. One's done. So I've got a couple of rocks and bushes to get out the way. 
that's okay though. Once I've sort of ploughed these in, I'll have more of an idea of what rocks and bushes I need to get out of the way. And any plant fibre that I get out of doing this, I can put back into fertiliser, so that would be quite cool. Yeah, so I'm going to be using these four plots for most things now. So at the moment, for example, I've got wheat, tomato, onion, potato. So that's only like four things that I've got planted, I think. Wheat, tomato, potato, onion, yeah. Right, let's get things out of the way now. So one rock to move and then we've got several bushes to get out of the way. Four to be precise, but I might take that one in the middle out as well. Because I don't know, I might want to put pathways around these and things, but I kind of do want to get to the biggest sprinkler size probably before I start making it look really, really cute and stuff, you know? That's how we're going to go with that. Right, so now I want to get some stone from inside my place. Oh no, actually, we haven't quite finished. So this is nice, isn't it? And I've got room up here for a couple of decorations, maybe, that sort of thing. I'm put a scarecrow there, like I said, I can fence this whole thing in. I mean, a well up there might be nice. Although, I, like I say, I'm going to try and have sprinklers for all of this. Okay, so these are my 5x5 five five plots. Lovely. Uh, I don't think I can fit another one in. One, two, three there. Yeah. Can't fit another one in, but that's fine. I could probably do the same over here. And I probably would be able to have two or maybe even three across there. Um, so what I want to do is uh, carry on my path, my cobblestone path. I want to just get any stone out that I have and just make a little bit more of that, I think. What's going on here? All my wood's run out. Okay. Thought I'd put quite a lot of wood on there, but never mind. Maybe we need to go get some more. I'm definitely getting the fasteners together for these sprinklers, so it's going to be nice. Uh, let me see what we need other than that. For a normal 5x5 sprinkler, we'll need 20 bamboo, so I need to go and cut that down. Some softwood. And then 10, fra 10 water fragments each. So once we do get things that can make water fragments, that's going to be useful. Um, as far as the fire fragments are concerned, we've got another 18 of them. We're up to 52. But we have kind of run out of limestone, so I'm going to fill that with a bit of sandstone instead. And just see what that does. I think sandstone, because it comes from the desert as well, I'm fairly certain that sandstone will do just as good a job. And we're wanting to get somewhere in the region of 120, 130 to finish off the obelisk. So let's get that in there. In fact, no, let's do the blue shrooms first. See if I can get some water fragments out of those. That would be quite interesting if I could. I also want to see if there's any more ores that I can break down in these furnaces. Did I like sneak any gold ore away anywhere? No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Got 27 fasteners now, which is great. So we've been working on those quite uh, quite studiously, quite diligently would be the word I think I'm trying to find there. But no, we don't have any gold ore or anything like that. So 
Now I have watered everything. I have tended to my cows and chickens. That's halfway through its progress. Is there anything else I want to do? Or do I want to like, do I want to push things forward a bit more? How much money do I have? 12,000. So I could try and push things along. I got a gold star tomato. How did I even manage that? Is that just random? I really hope I am guaranteed to get like gold star potatoes if I fertilize them because otherwise we could be waiting a while. Hmm. I wonder if I should make some more. These are all potatoes though, so maybe one of those will come out gold star. You never know. You can live in hope. But part of me wants to just push this along a bit more, so I'm actually going to go to bed. I want to get, I want to get to the point where we can. Where we can fill this obelisk in, so. Hope you don't mind. I feel like we've been doing that for forever and ever and ever. So, right, now I've harvested these. Oh no, this is someone with my sprinkler on. I could move the sprinkler, couldn't I? I could totally move it to another plot. Let's get my builder thing out. Sprinkler. Move. Let's put it up there. I feel like that's way better because like I can start slowly breaking down. Those are harvestable now. So are those over there. So there's gonna be a lot less for me to have to worry about now. And it also means I can do a bit of selling. more tomatoes as well. I don't know where the gold star tomatoes count. Okay, I got four water things from those water mushrooms. Pop those in there. But yeah, this is becoming a bit more manageable now. I'm hoping the wheat might be ready tomorrow. Uh, get these guys so that's six of these all of the tomatoes I don't know whether I can move tomatoes with my builder thing that'd be really interesting wouldn't it let's see if that's a possibility so if I go to move move items no looks like I have to just wait it out for those You never know until you try a thing. It was a bit cheeky, but yeah. I wanted to make sure. So I'll keep the tomatoes here and then I'm gonna start anything else that I want to plant. I'm gonna start planting in this bed here, even if it's a mixture for now and then I'm going to try and work on getting the sprinkler there so that when I do get the sprinkler done um, the stuff is there and not in these plots so obviously the tomatoes will continue to be hand watered in fact though I'll move my one sprinkler on to the, one of the tomato plots it'll be good for me to know how sprinklers manage with these weird sticks in the way as well <laughs> They might just sit next to it. I don't think they I don't think they mind too much being on top of things. Things seem to just grow through them. It's it seems absolutely fine to be honest. Uh, and then the wheat. So when the wheat is done, then we'll have a lot less of water. is the last bed so I think we're good after this
Okay, let's check. That looks done. That looks done. That looks not done. That looks done. Cannot wait to have finished with all of this watering. <laughs> My goodness. I'm always like this with games though. I'm like, give me the sprinkler now. Give me the big air sprinkler right now. Right, I'll go and see my cow and my chicken. We are just waiting for things to grow right now. Thank you for my stuff. Let's give them a feed. Cow eats a lot more than the chicken. Chicken food lasts a couple of days. Alright, I should go into town, have a look at the notice board, see if anything's going on. It's Bitchwin's birthday today, I don't really know, like, about... I'm not doing much social in this, I'm just sort of playing with the game. And again, I do that... I tend to do that in early access. I'm gonna change that to, like, 20. 23 tomatoes. We need all of the potatoes. And like I say, it'll be less less work as we go through. Okay, sandstone gives me plant ones and fire ones. Which isn't the best. Limestone is a bit better. But this is what I got right now, so... One fifty-eight of 120 odd that we need, so we'll just let it keep going, I guess. I'm kind of thinking I might start kind of just keeping the iron and things. Um, we've got a lot of it and we've got a lot of fasteners. No, I actually still need another 10 fasteners, don't I? So we, I think we should maybe go into the desert and just try and grab a few things there, maybe. I'll sell my onions. I can pop the p tomatoes that I've got in. My eggs and my... Potatoes that are not good potatoes, and probably all my mushrooms, and that spare coconut. Okay, and I wanted to continue my little path, didn't I? So let's do that. So I wanted to make cobblestone path A. Wow. Make six of those. Oh, times 10? What? Okay, I might need to sell those then. That's rather a lot. Yeah, I think I do want to go all the way down to here with it. And I might even extend the path out. I'm not sure. Ah! Super annoying. I put one in the wrong place. So then what we need to do to make this look tidy is go through with the hoe and get rid of any extra grass pieces. And then just going with the the bits I messed up there. The grass seed. 
There we are, a nice little path running all the way around. And I did have some like fences, didn't I? So let's just see about putting those in. That might be quite nice. Um, yeah, okay, fences. Let's see about popping some of those in and just sort of maybe separating things out a bit. Maybe I'll put them around here. Let's grid snap them. So we've got sort of that sort of thing going on. Quite like that. It just sort of makes it look more interesting. And then I could put some decorations and things around the top here if I wanted to. probably stop there with those ones just giving it that little bit of extra separation not going too overboard though lab out of the way and then I can put that final one down there lovely that'll do for now so we've kind of got this nice area here that just looks nice and kind of fenced in and then over here I might put another path down just to show that this is a, an area where I'm putting bits and bobs you know like furnaces and alembics and all that sort of thing so that's looking quite cute and then maybe I will put some lights in or something. Maybe lights could go up here actually as well. Like street lamps or something. Don't quite know yet how I'm, what I'm going to do with it but I do want the plots to be at least this big. So. That's all I know right now. They may need to go out to seven as well but I'll see. If that becomes the case, I might only be able to fit three in, so we'll have to do a bit of jiggery pokery with that one. Right, so I've been to see them. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I want to go and see Bitchin, and uh, not because of the birthday. <laughs> but I want to go and see Bitchin and uh, just see if there's, there's any more stuff I can get, and I want to see if there's any more recipes I can get from the cook. Um, it is a Saturday. I can't remember who's open, so we'll just see who is. And just start getting all the stuff. Getting all the recipes. I want to get the bigger sprinkler recipe. I want to just see what that's all about. If Ori is open. Yes, Ori is open. Cool. So, crafting blueprints. And I'd like to like do things like increase my home and stuff like that. Um, so, it's under S for super sprinkler, I think. Sprinklers are important. LMNOP, no, LMOPQICU, SU, Super Sprinkler. Learn. So now when I go into that, so crafting recipe, so we can at least, that was 8,000 to know how big a Super Sprinkler is. It is a 7x7. Seven seven. One touch and you'll spray water all over the place. Water's a 7x7 seven seven area. That one. Interestingly, see the small sprinklers actually need a, a water fragments as well. So once I can start making water fragments like properly, we're going to be able to do the seven by sevens. Hmm. And they're going to be almost as easy to do as the five by fives. So I think we should just go straight for them, right? Save on the fasteners. <laughs> I knew I'd want to do that, which is why I went to pick it up. I knew that would happen. Typical she lab behavior really, isn't it? So, Fritz, can I? Hello, are you not open right now? Four till ten. Oh yeah, not open till four. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if Bitchman's open. 
No. So, what time are you open? What days are you open? I'm not too worried, but uh, close on a Friday and Saturday, so you'll be open tomorrow. Lovely. Was there anything else I wanted to do particularly right now? Have an explore around the desert, maybe? Or do I want to wait for the desert to be fully open first? Hmm. Maybe I'll just wait for it to be fully opened up. Yeah, honestly, I just want to, like, water everything and then just push the day forward, honestly. So, yeah, I just want to get ready for bed. Because what I want is all, all my stuff to get the obelisk done. I did spend some time making the farm look prettier. So, you know, don't worry about that. This, I swear these are nearly done. Right, okay. Potato, potato, potato. Okay. They all came out gold star. Yes. Perfect. I know, it sounds a little bit like a sheep when I did that. I know. Yeah, I do feel like we're probably going to end up going from manually watering to, like, sprinklers <laughs> really quickly. So I'm just going to literally go and say hi to my... I'm going to just make sure that there's nothing going on in the planner, which there isn't. I'm going to say hi to my cows and sheep. And I'm just going to sleep through. So at the moment, everything is about waiting on things. I mean, I could run around and like make my place look better, and you know, try and make, try and get money from mining in the desert and things. But I, what I really want to do, ideally, with this with you guys, is to show you the main mechanics of it. And yeah, we might make things pretty and stuff like that, but kind of a side thing, isn't it? Ooh. And I'm just desperate to get sprinklers, really, aren't I? <laughs> you can tell. I'll get all the watering over and done with now. And then we can go get sprinklers. So hopefully tomorrow there'll be some uh, tomatoes. But I'm gonna go, yeah, I'll check on my cow and chicken. I'm not gonna be like mean to them or anything. But there's like, yeah, now we've got like 66 of those. Perfect. So just waiting a couple more days for the potatoes to come through, wait for the wheat to come through. And we're just gonna to speak to Mikan about everything. And it'll be wonderful. So yeah, I think we've got enough fire fragments now, but there's no point taking them down there until I've got enough potatoes. That's just a waste of my time. Brush brush! Brush brush! Feed you! Bye! Oh, you can go outside today, actually. I never let you outside, do I? I'm always, like, feeding you from the dispenser and not letting you outside. Uh, one thing I do think I want to do... Actually, I think what I'm going to do... Do I have many grass seeds? Because I feel like we need to make these into 7x7s. Seven then we will be ready for anything the world wants to throw at us. Right, so I've got one stone that needs to go. And I've got one bush that needs to go. And then that stone there needs to go as well. 
other than that, we're pretty clear. Actually, I should start from the bottom, shouldn't I? Because we're going to need to move these up a couple. So let's go all the way down to the very bottom. And just see if... So if I've got that there, that'll be seven. Then I'd put one piece of grass in. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and one piece of grass in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then there'd be one piece of grass in. One, two, three, four, five, okay. We wouldn't get much in there, actually. Okay, so actually I will leave two down the bottom there, um, which means that that will start there. This is all planning, okay? watered everything right yeah I was waiting on this wheat it's taking forever I haven't actually been down to the town's board yet recently that would be a thing to do as well so one two what ah one two three four five six seven Seven. So that fits really nicely in there, actually, these seven by sevens. So I'll have three seven by sevens here, which means we'll get like 49 crops in a field to one sprinkler. Which will be great once I manage to actually achieve that. Getting there. Do I have any more grass seed in my chest? I might do. Sort of thing I would have put away, uh, possibly. Yes, I do have loads. Wonderful. So that's, yeah, I think it's here, isn't it? We've got three big fields there. You can kind of start to see the shape of them. Right, so each one of these, I will be able to plant them in. I will be able to water them by just tapping a sprinkler once a day. And that'll be 150 crops. Well, actually, Probably like 147 or something. I think it'll be like 49 per field. So if you round that up to 50 and then take away three, 
147. So that was a good five minutes, just getting that sorted. And then we will be doing the same. So it'll be three, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll be able to fit two more rows of that. So we'll end up having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fields of seven, uh, 50 plants each. 50 times 9, that. we're going to be looking at somewhere around 450 plus crops planted at, at, at a time. Wonderful. So we'll never run out of uh, space and stuff. But, you know, we'll just start with the first 50, then go up to 100, then go up to 150. And then we'll hopefully by then the tomato season will be over. Because in fall, those are all going to those are all going to go away. So we have a quick look at the planner we've got another two weeks no not we've got another 20 days and then the, the, the tomatoes will be over can't move them though so there's nothing i can do about that so i'll just work on all the other types of crops i'll get a sprinkler in for those and i will continue for the next 20 days to water the tomatoes <laughs> Or we grow more. I don't know. They take a few days to grow, and then uh, so it's a bit of a waste otherwise. You always get this with turn of season, though. Hey, one more day quick, one more like super quick day before we say goodbye. I like to try and get good progress going in this. So, if if the wheat is ready today, that would be a fantastic end to things. We didn't get any new villagers or anything this time though. So what I'm gonna have to do is like some kind of like rearranging the farm. Making the farm prettier sort of thing, I guess. Or we could talk about the Moo Cow Festival that we just had. Uh I have like well enough now of that of that stuff, so. I imagine any plants that I put in are just going to give me plant stuff. Haha! -ha! The wheat is ready! Yeah! So that is one less thing that I have to worry about now. Oh no, I had grass seeds on. Ah! Oh cool, all the tomatoes are ready today. The potatoes have flowered. Oh! Oh, the tomatoes only have a certain amount of times that you can harvest them. Nice. That means that I can start to rearrange this once these have had one or two more rounds. Perfect. Get like three harvests off of them. So I've got 14 tomatoes at the moment. I should have enough by the time all the rest of them are done. Yeah, that should be fine. So now we've just got this little bit to water, which is so much better. We are getting there. This has been a huge watering, making things prettier sort of episode, but doesn't it look nicer, firstly? And secondly, we've gotten through a whole load of stuff. Give those a quick water. I don't think we're going to get the obelisk done this time, but I do think next episode that's getting done and we're moving on to the next biome. So that was a really good little bit of little bit of progress we've made there. I don't know if I did the middle one. No, I did not. Okay, so, uh, all watered, lovely, I'll just go and see the cow and chicken. How much money we got? 10,000. Okay. 
I'll probably go and look for recipes and things next time. I think uh, I'm going to just progress the day. Did I not let them back in last night? Oops. Maybe you needed to do that. Uh, you have to go inside and press the bell, but... Hopefully they're doing okay. I don't know if I can see, like, my... Uh... My contacts? Do we have anything? Like, my animals? No, they just... If they're happy, they're happy, I guess. I mean, I'm getting gold star milk and eggs. I'm getting double gold star eggs now. That's pretty nice. Oh no, there's a double gold star? You know what it's going to ask for now? It's going to be like, I want you to give me a double gold star, like, whatever it is you plant in fall. Yay! Oh, I could definitely move that now. Right, let's ship my 30 wheat. Because that's important. That's my meow quest done, I think, at that point. Um, I'm still saving up the tomatoes. I'm still saving up the potatoes. And I have got all of the fire fragments. I'm going to leave them in there like that because, you know, we, we need to. But I need about ten more tomatoes. I need to uh, get six more of the gold star potatoes once they're ready. And then that's the obelisk completely finished. And my farm is, if I say so myself, looking pretty great. I'm really looking forward to, like, sort of planting in this farm and it looking just so much nicer. And finishing off the path down there and everything, so pretty happy with that. I might I might extend the fence all the way around once I've got seven by sevens. I don't think the sprinklers get bigger than that so that's going to be quite nice once we're at that stage. So I think it's time for us to go to bed. <laughs> yeah I know and then next time like I say I'm pretty sure at the probably the very start of the episode we'll have the opalisk completely done because we've been saving up and saving up and saving up but I've just totally run out of time. So Hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more then please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome